Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to creating this logo morphing animation in a light motion. Okay friends, let's make it. As you can see guys, here I have these three different logos of Google. To morph these logos, first we need to create vector path of these logos. Before doing that, first let's adjust these logos size and positions. Let's center the all logos. Let's increase the canvas size a little bit. Now add the vector drawing tool. Now create a path as I shown in the video. Add four points at the edge of the red area of the logo. Now tap on this icon. Now tap here. Now we need to add two more points. Let's add one here. Now tap on this icon to make the curve. Now adjust the point position as shown. If you don't get the perfect shape, adjust with these handles. Let's create one more curve here. Now match the color. Let's rename it as red piece. In this way, we need to create more shapes. Let's drag this logo to the top. I will start the morph animation from the 20th frame. Let's add a mark here. Move 20 frames forward and add one more mark. Now at the first mark, create the keyframes for these points. Repeat these keyframes at the second mark also. Also, we need to create keyframes for these handles. Let's add stroke to the shape for a couple moments, because the two shapes' colors are the same. Let's drag it to the top. Now at the second mark, adjust the points according to second logo shape. I know, some of you don't draw perfect shapes with vector drawing tool, don't worry about that, just you need to draw a rough shape like me. Now select the all points and smooth the keyframe curves.
In this way, we need to animate the remaining shapes. Now drag the original Google logo to the top. Now trim it at the first mark. Also trim these layers at the first mark. Now drag it here. Start this layer from the second mark. Now apply the zoom blur effect to the first shape layer. Decrease the strength to 0% and add the strength keyframe at the first mark. Also repeat the keyframe at the second mark. Now add one more at the middle of these two keyframes. At this keyframe, increase the strength value to 0.10% and smooth the keyframe curves. Now copy this effect and paste it on to the remaining shape layers. Now we have something like this. Now I will start this shape morph animation from here. Maybe let's start from here. From this mark, move 20 frames forward and add one more mark. Now drag the drive logo to the top. Let's move it here. Now select these four shape layers and copy them. Now trim all these shape layers at this last keyframe. At this first mark, paste the four shape layers. Select the four shape layers and trim them as shown. Now start them from first mark. Let's trim this logo layer here. Now move it here. Let's drag it here. Now select this shape layer and create the keyframes at the first frame and the last frame of the layer. Now at the second mark, adjust the points according to second logo shape.
Now make this animation easy in and ease out. In this way, modify the remaining shapes. Now drag this logo to the top. Let's trim these layers here. Now we have this extra piece here. We have to hide this shape. Let's do it. Let's create keyframes for each points at the first frame. Move couple of frames forward and repeat the keyframes. Now change the all points positions here. Now trim it here. Now create the zoom blur effect that we already created earlier. Now we have something like this. Everything is perfect, but the colors are not matching. Let's match the colors also. Now select the first shape layer and add the color keyframe. Add one more at the last frame. First move this layer here. Now match the color. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Do the same thing for the remaining shape layers. Let's create fade out animation to this shape layer. If you draw perfect shapes with vector drawing tool, then you don't need to add original logo layers like this tutorial. Some of you don't draw perfect shapes with vector drawing tool. That's why I added original logo layers. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. Also comment below, Who's editing you want to recreate next?